The hot weather is causing some summer programs to make schedule adjustments just to keep children safe from the heat. Today, I was looking into how they're keeping children cool as the temperature soars. Summer camps are for fun and learning, and sometimes just to race and see who's the fastest. This year, camps need to find ways to beat the heat. It's the biggest consideration. Um, we do both inside and outdoor activities and alternate between the both of them, 45 minutes each. Dominique Sack coordinates the Pete and Penny camps at YSU. There are 28 campers, ages 5 to 12, and the camp is very aware of weather conditions. Especially because they're younger kids between the ages of 5 and 12, they're a little bit more sensitive to the sun. The campers apply sunscreen before going outside. The heat can be even more worrisome than the usual bumps and bruises. Water bottles are everywhere, so each camper has enough water. The day schedule is set up with weather in mind and not wanting too much time in the worst conditions. We try to go outside more frequently in the mornings because that's when it's a little bit cooler, um, and then try to stay inside in the later half. Indoor games and activities are a way to avoid overheating in the day's heat. Snacks and lunch are important, not only for a break, but also to escape the heat. The camp runs from 9 to 4 each day, and they even use water balloons, sprinklers, or water games to help cool down the campers. We also like to keep them in the shade if they are outside, um, just so that even if they are outside, they have something that's covering them um, and letting them cool down a little bit. And Dominique told me it's just as important to emphasize safety as it is education, learning, and having fun. The Pete and Penny camps last four more weeks.